Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Hero Factory review, and today's of which is on the three Fire Villain sets from 2011. Which are, of course, these three. So we'll look at just one of the boxes. You see a picture of the set that comes within, and I'm just finishing pose. Uh, the logos, of course, the Hero Factory symbol, of course. And down below is the name and set, the uh, little choking hazard, age range, set number, and amount of pieces, of which all of which a little bit more than last wave, of course. And well, the box of which says are still quite the same as a whoops 1.0 kind of did, especially with the side thing, but except of course a little bit thinner than that, which major plus for. The actual size of the head parts, and on the back, see a picture of any villain fighting against one of the heroes and shooting off the meteor launcher. HeroFactory.com, the logos again, of course. Yeah. And now, on to one of the manuals. As you see, same pictures on the front and everything. And on the back, how to win on the online survey, evil wing kid. And then application and add Lego club. And then add for to the hero sets, fighting against Fire Lord next year. Of which next next throwback Thursday, of course. Add for hero recon team, awesome thing that was. And add for HeroFactory.com. And then all the heroes in them walking up right up, of course, and all their names, too, of course. And the pieces that come with the set, of course, and then the last steps. Oh, and also in the start of the manual is, of course, the same picture of the villain fighting the hero, of course. The first of which is Lion and Everyone, or probably my favorite villain of this wave. Jeff Bug. And how so, my favorite? Oh, since for the yellow color scheme, and also, well, yellow color scheme kind of reminisce to that of Meltdown in the last wave. But, although some say he, which kind of like a different version of Makuda Bittel from the Miss Bonkle Mystica series of 2008, of course. So I kind of get that. But yeah, whatever. But as the feet of which, same exact Paraka feet, uh, Paraka feet that we've seen a lot to which, but of course were used as Von Nebula's hands in the last wave, of course. And neat thing with Jetbug is he which was the only set to ever have these type of limb pieces in this yellow color, or uh, otherwise key orange color, since a lot of it was still that color, of course. And as you'll see with these other villain sets, have these other long spiky pieces in red, which probably suiting to the fire theme of them. And also exclusive to Jetbug, well, was of course, well, for a while was this five long armor piece in trans orange, and also do get some nice printing on this one, of which that was in black, but what was kind of annoying is that. Some black pieces or black armor pieces were like, and silver pieces were printed like this until in both Hero Recon Team and Hero Factory 3.0 in the Summer Wave also both had that, had plain kinds, kind of annoying and odd, but whatever. And also, do you get the chest plate piece, but in also in trans orange? Cool. Also, do you get this like armor add-on piece, which some kind of call the hero core, but not really. But I think I would call it another greeple detail, of course. Been, yeah. And also, do you get the like chest armor pieces, but on the arms, but also in key orange and going down to the arms of which which. And of course, this way, first time to introduce these new blade pieces, which have both a star-type axle 
on it, and also the lightsaber rod type axles, of course. There's, but whereas the other one, which does have the launcher, of course, but the thorn axe launcher pieces are in gunmetal gray. Great for mocking, of course, and it does fire off like so. The neat thing with these uh, spheres, of which quite large improvement over the previous Zammer spheres, you know, where instead of being like two different color, there's but either like together, you know, but it's actually textured of both red and yellow, which great, of course. But also for the head of which, same pieces for uh, blade pieces used for the mandibles, of course, and this like large headpiece, very nice, too, of course. And also, as you'll see with these other villain sets, is just like the uh, 2009 Glatorian Legends vehicle sets did, we're turning around and it's an all different piece to it. So in this case, it's Nitro Blast's piece, although it can kind of work well for mocking if you choose to, but, but, but yeah. And for the back of which, some extra ones, and also using the extra ball joints on the torso piece, as you can see. And it should extend to these two jetpacks of pieces, which stayed exclusive to this wave, of course, but they did make it in some of the other Hero Factory waves, like Breakout and things. And also what was exclusive to it, this wave, were these uh, flame pieces, which were this, which were kind of bendy material. So that, and also, if you were one of those that got this in the first, at the start of Hero Recon Team, they often included this randomly with the set, with the custom figures, of course just as a little apology for a shipment delay and whatnot. Kind of interesting that was. Not sure what the other spikes on there were for, but whatever. And I think that is probably about it with Jetbug. And now onto this wave's dumb brute being a drill dozer. Same place as Thunder, of course. And all those as with him, and as you'll see with Nitro Blast, one of the only ones to use the limb pieces, or new limb pieces, but in uh, red instead of black, of course. And also, like the other villain sets, has a lot of spiky pieces, but also use these armor pieces, but in black, quite nice and all. And also, as you see, he was only one to ever reuse the uh, star's feet, of course. And as you see, also the newer uh, connector pieces where they just don't break off as easily. And also the same exact indent as the other ones did. And an interesting thing is that on Jetbug, which didn't have any of that, instead just had the older versions of that, which were from the 2008 uh, Fantoka through Stars Waves, of course. There's, I kind of don't understand why that is. If anyone knows why that is, comment below, of course. But anyway, continuing with Drill Dozer here is that for the let's get to the head for now as as his helmet of which very well done kind of quite menacing but also cool of course first and also if i take this off and got the glatorian headpiece since last time they were ever used that until breakout of course and also the Borok eye teeth pieces in black. Very nice. Quite cool and all. And you can see, but if you look from the sides, gap for that kind of thing. And also Fire Lord's uh, helmet piece of which, which kind of like some of these other ones also did. And the neck of which is just two of, uh, make comprise of two 
of these like smaller um, wind pieces, which are kind of like the Zelda's, but but actually small, of course, kind of like the normal hand connectors, but with a ball joint on it, of course. Quite nice, quite great for mocking. And as for the body pieces, of which comprise of two pieces, of which being this size eight armor piece in he and Waspix in the Savage Planet line. Only ones to ever use these, of course. And also you get this little shoulder guard piece and he which only want to ever use this kind of armor piece, although it does have a lot of good connecting points to it, like one of these add-on pieces in red, very nice. It also does connect onto two uh, ball joints, which this torso piece does have, of course. So quite cool piece, but only one to ever have that. Not sure why in others that's but whatever. As for this armor, which kind of small and then kind of dinky, and also another armor piece, but used for a hand, and also same exact kind of weapon as Jetbug had. And also do get this thing acting as an extra shoulder joint. If I were to guess why, if it weren't there, then it would be kind of useless and wouldn't work out well. So at least good that it was there. And whereas for the other armor witch, which gets quite interesting, which as you see has the drill piece from the Power Miners line, of course. And of course you have to spin it yourself just without doesn't have any special mechanisms to do that. And also the Mari tube piece, but in red. Which also used on Witch Doctor, of course. And as for this engine kind of piece to it, which actually has a translucent type of effect to it. Not sure if you can tell on camera, but it kind of well does. Which unlike with other ones, which are an opaque kind of colors. But it's also a little glittery, of course. Or maybe I'm thinking of a different set, but yeah. Let me get this back on. And also this armor piece of which kind of similar to the one that Jeff Bug had for the leg, but it's in a smaller size. Both Nitro Blast will have that too. And if you look on the back of which, as you see, some extra limb pieces, but a couple of kind of interesting ones. Like, do you get what looks like one of the like technique pieces that were used to connect the Toa to the Matorans in the Pantoka line, but instead of extra pin can, things, it's ball joints to it. Which great piece for that. And of course, it probably here to give a little extra width to the other arm, of course. Also, do get this like of what looks kind of like one of the like smaller double can ball joint connector piece, but instead of an axle in the, or I mean pinhole in the middle, instead it's a ball joint in the middle, of which very cool piece. And also do get oh, what's probably another back shooter or tail shooter or whatever. Just a couple other limb pieces and it holds the meteor launcher, of course. But of course in the Nick episode, I think it kind of shot right from this blade, of course. Although I think they could have had this used as the hand, although that would be just copying Jetbug, but at least nice that they did that as well. And then last of which is Jetbug, or Nitro Blast, who some kind of think is like a redone version of Explode, but, I, but not so much of that. Although same foot pieces as Explode had, but at least in light red, Great mocks, of course. 
and of course a lot of the like size 5 armor pieces but in gunmetal gray and also a lot of these spiky pieces but in Kitor and very nice and also do get a kind of similar armor piece like what Jeff Buck had but some symbol of thing is a little bit different and although this one armor which is kind of same pieces as them and flame piece coming off of that end. Also, wrist blade there, and also the same hand piece as Verno kind of did, but instead has a meter launcher on it, of course. And for the other arm, which is a little longer, and probably the most largest kinds, which Fire Lord also has. And odd thing is that this one, which is in like a uh, bright gray which is just sticks out like a sore thumb why not make it in black but although in some animation like thing on the website that is no longer around it's also kind of used as even an extra armor which I'm just not sure why but although also same two kind of thing as drill dozer also had and also the same flame piece probably represent an additional flamethrower. Same thing as and also as the add-on piece in both red and in a gum metal gray. So kind of way to get both at once. And if look from the back and you see same exact uh, head piece as jet bugs but in red and also does have that. Uh, Baraki eye piece in light in the green color. First time used outside Atlantis in this wave. It's quite nice. And also to get yeah. also the armor main torso piece, but in red. Only time to ever have that. Well, at least until and Fire Lord also did have that as well. And do get the another one of the long limb pieces. Just for the other arm, and also do get uh, which meltdowns a uh, toxic waste caster piece, but in translucent orange. Quite nice if you are to make a different color meltdown, of course. So, so now on to the final verdict on these three. This I think a, a quite cool wave of the Hero Factory villains, of course. It's kinda odd on how there's just three villains this time around instead of four in, like in the last wave, of course. But same thing in Savage Planet, but whatever. But at least Drill Dozer which Drill Dozer and Nitro Blast, kinda similar to both Explode and Thunder, but at least they were teensy bit different than the others, but in the court visa, which did have some good recolors pieces that you can use for some CCBS mocks if you want. And Jetbug, of course, also welded. And of course was a blind character, like that we haven't seen since uh, since Pantoka and Mystica of Bonacle, of course. And of course do have the neat flame piece. So even though Fire Lord also does have that, but yeah. And of course, Nitro Blast also did have torso piece in the red color. So at least they were kind of a bit like extra parts packs, of course. And so now, if you if still have these sets from back of the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. 
And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.